transposition of formula. In the formula, p equals i squared r, p is known as the subject of the formula. It may be that we are given values of i and p, and we have to find r. We can do this by substituting the given values in the formula and solving the resulting equation. We may have several sets of corresponding values of i and p and want to find the corresponding values of r. Much time and effort will be saved if we express the formula with r as the subject because then we only need to substitute the given values of i and p in the rearranged formula. The process of rearranging a formula so that one or the other symbols becomes a subject is called transposition of formula. The rules used in transposition of formula are the same as those used in solving equations. The methods used are as follows. Look at this example. Transpose W equals IV to make V the subject. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to divide both sides by I. So, how we do that is divide both sides by I. And what will happen is obviously the I's will cancel themselves out. And that will leave underneath W over I equals V. And if we flip that around, we can see that basically V is W over I. And that is our answer. So in this formula, H equals I squared RT. These are all connected as a product, i.e. they are multiplied. So we're going to make R the subject. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of I squared and T. So we divide I squared and T on both sides. I squared T. And that will cancel out, cancel out, cancel out the T's. And that will leave basically H equals I squared T. Flip that round so R is H over I squared T. And that is making R the subject. So now we're going to look at the quotient rule. Quotient is division. So if we have the formula R is V over I, which is Ohm's law, but we're not interested in what law it is. We're just looking at that mathematical relationship that R is whatever volts are divided by the current, and we want to make V the subject. So what we do is effectively we multiply both sides by um, I. So... So that should look like this. We multiply both sides by I. <clears throat> it's obviously because you've got an I underneath and I at the top. They'll cancel themselves out there. So that means V is IR. So do what we normally do. Flip that around. V is I times R. Okay. Let's look at another example. So another formula which is from the electrical discipline. R is rho L over a so this is the resistance formula um, and again we're not too fussed at the moment what the formula is but what we do want to do is we want to work out a from the other three uh, variables so first thing we do is we write the formula out so rho l over a and we're going to multiply both sides by A. So I'm going to change my colour here on my pen. So we'll put A there and we're going to times that by A. Okay. So what will happen there is them two will cancel themselves out. 
So that will leave A times R equals rho L. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to, can you guess? We need to get rid of R. So to get rid of R, we tend to divide it. So we divide so both sides by R. So the handle there. So R, R, and that gets rid of them. And that leaves the formula A equals rho L over R. Okay. So this time we're going to look at symbols that are connected by a plus or minus sign. So if we have in this rule T equals T plus 273 and we want to um, basically get T on its own, what we need to do is we need to subtract 273 from both sides. So we would have, that would be T minus 273 equals T. And we'll put there plus 273. If we just put there minus 273, well, what will happen here quite clearly is that them two, the plus and the minus will leave zero. So T plus zero, so we can get rid of the zero. So that would mean the formula then is t minus 273 equals t and we flip it around or we can say that t is t minus 273 so this time in example 1.6 we're going to make I the subject in this formula. <clears throat> this is to do with the uh, battery voltage at a terminal. But again, we're interested in making I the subject. So usual scenario, write the formula down. And then subtract E from <clears throat> both sides. So that would be, so if we put minus E in there, minus E in there, and what will happen is the plus E, that's the invisible plus there, that will go, and that will go, and that will leave V minus E equals I R. Then we need to divide Both sides by R. So that will be V minus E is I R. R, R. And then they will cancel themselves out. So if we flip that around, that means I is V minus E over R. So in this um, example, I equals V over R plus X, we're going to transpose for V. So the first thing we need to do on here is we need to multiply both sides by I'm going to keep them together, R plus X. Okay. So that's going to basically be, so that is going to equal, so I times, and let's put the bracket in there, R plus X is V R plus X. And that side's multiplied by R plus X again. And what will happen there is that will go, that will go, and you will be left with I 
r plus x that means that everything in there is multiplied by i <coughs> equals v uh, and let's just flip that around so therefore v is i brackets r plus x so what we're going to do on this formula is we have r equals r rho multiplied by brackets 1 plus alpha t and we want to transpose the formula for t so then we need to subtract r rho from both sides so currently we've got r is r rho plus r rho alpha t so minus r rho goes in there when we subtract r rho from this side we, that r rho goes away which just leaves alpha t the next thing we need to do is we need to divide R O alpha into both sides. So <clears throat> dividing both sides into R O alpha, then obviously R O R O alpha alpha cancel out, which leaves T equals R minus R O over R O alpha. So we'll just flip that around. So R minus R O over R O alpha so in example 1.9 we're going to transpose x equals n over n minus 1 and i want you to transpose the formula for n pause the video have a go see what you think see if you can come up with the answer so how well did you do so first thing we need to do is we need to multiply both sides by n minus 1 so x times n minus 1 and that will that will do and equals n times n minus one that will cancel the two out there and that will leave x n minus one yeah so there's no multiply there that means that both both n and one are multiplied by x remove the brackets yeah okay it's gonna be one x is that then we're going to group the turns n on the left hand side so what happens here is is the n when that comes over here that becomes negative and when the x goes over that side it becomes positive so that's what we've done there so they've effectively swapped when anything changes the side of the equal side sign it changes its sign so then we've got so n is x minus 1 then we divide both sides by x minus 1 like so that leaves n equals x over x minus 1 so in this example <clears throat> we're going to effectively transpose uh, i1 equals i r2 over r1 plus r2 and we're going to make r2 the subject so first thing we do is multiply both sides by r1 okay so put that in there <clears throat> and that means that uh, on the right hand side r1 r2 cancel themselves out to leave i1 <clears throat> uh, plus i1 plus r2 remove the brackets yeah so remove the brackets so i1 times r1 plus i1 times r2 which we've got there equals i r2 then we're going to group the turns r2 on the right hand side so if you look on there what we're doing there basically is we've flipped so the positive so that's gone over that side which has become a negative okay then we're going to factorize the uh, right hand side on here and what we do by that is we effectively you can see on there so rather than i r2 minus i1 r2 then basically we get rid of the r2 so we factorize that like so so that's r2 multiplied by i minus i1 and then once we've got that like so we divide both sides because we want to get effectively i1 need to get rid of i minus i1 on this side so divide both sides by i minus i1 they'll cancel themselves out which effectively means that r2 is i1 r1 divided by i minus i1 so have a look over the video again watch it a couple of times hopefully that uh, will stick and uh, hopefully uh, you know it's just practice 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 thanks for watching check, don't forget to check out uh, part two of the transposition uh, video which follows this one. Thanks again.